Hi everyone, in this video I would like to show you how to create a web service import set. Okay, probably you have already created an import set. Load some data, do some transform map in and then get some get your data in your target table. This is going to be a little bit different and what we are going to do is to send a request from the REST API Explorer. And we will be having a record creator in our target table. For doing that, the first thing is to create the import set, what we call the web service import set. And the other important thing that I would like to mention before even starting is this thing is a process which is mandatory if you would like to certify your application. So it is good to have an overview how we can do that. It's pretty fast, straightforward, easy to understand if you're familiar with all the terms like transfer map, import set, all this kind of thing. Okay, so now the first thing you have to make sure. So I'm in the application need IT, and uh, whatever the application you are working on, you have to make sure that you are under the right branch. The branch, the appropriate branch, is Web Service Import Set module. And in here, I'm going to create an application file. If you do not know how to have the branch, all you need to do click on Source Control, Create Branch. Look for this. Now I'm gonna click on Create Application Files and look for inbound and integration import set web service click on create okay this is a page where i'm going to create my staging table so i'm going to give a name called need it import set rest okay my target table is going to be the need it table is here and i have, i want all the fields that i have in my target table to be able to also it should be in my source table in here so i'm gonna just put copy fields from target tables i'm gonna click on create it should create a similar field okay so now i'm going to i would like to make sure that i have all the um fields match properly from source table to the target table so i'm going to click on auto map matching field so it's going to map every field that i have in my source table respectively to the target table fields so as you can see here i have field maps 55 and this is a source field you follow up which is match mapped to the follow-up field in the target table so at this point we have done pretty much 90 percent of the work now what we have to do is just test is going to create my record or not so i'm in here so if you want to find where you you will have the uh, web service type system web service and you should have under inbound create new i should have something new um let's see if i refresh if i'm going to get that thing or not okay system web as you can see here need it import set module is created so if i click on that i have this page and you have to scroll down really because there are a lot of mails and look for explore rest api so we are going to test from here if it is going to work or not so i'm here on the import set api this is the method that we are going to use the post method this is the url and i'm going to add some field which is going to be for example short description and requested for and uh, when needed okay so now i'm going to just take the data that i have here in my notes Short description uh, requested for is going to be this one, and web service import set is going to be the short description and the date. Okay, to twenty. So if I'm going to send a request now, it should create a record for me with this information in the target table. Okay, so it's going. It's pretty straightforward. Let's see how it's going to happen. I'm going to click on OK and status code 201 is created. I have an import set, um, I know identification, and here the staging table, the result I have, I have even the record number. So let's see if it is created a record or not. 
so I'm going to look for need IT click on as you can see here I have need ID 2005 is created and I have the title short description web service import set click on that I have the date that I have mentioned system administrator I can do once more if you want but just by changing some information to make sure that it's properly creating I'm gonna put you know, this one let's say 24 I'm gonna keep I'm gonna put like this I should have web service import is a short description and for 2024 okay okay it's created let's see if I go here I can see there is one more record this one and you can see here web service import and I have the date 2024 okay this is how we can work differently with the import set and this is something uh, which is mandatory so I thought it's going to be useful uh, for everyone to know uh, this thing. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye